5.4 divided by 1,000 divided by 1,000 equals... <laughs> this isn't a scientific calculator. That's why they did that. So 5... 5060 oh, times 12 times 25.4 divided by 1,000 divided by 1,000 equals 1.54 again. So it didn't make that much of a difference. Anyway, that's length. Next would be area. Let's just show this quick. The area, length times width. What if you have a circle? From there to there is called R. All the way across is called the diameter. Well, this is called the circumference. C all the way around. Pi equals the circumference divided by the diameter. Now, if we know that pi is 3.14 equals C over D, we can algebraically arrange this so that D equals C over 3.14. So look, if circumference is 3.14, such that 3.14 divided by 3.14 is going to equal 1, right? So for the C here to equal 3.14, which is pi, the diameter equals 1. Well, what textbooks like to do is make the radius 1. So it throws this all off because now you end up with diameter being 2 instead of 1. So they like, because there's these other ones, the area is pi r squared. So they like to pick r as 1, because in this case, r is a half if the diameter is 1. So you'll pick other examples, and it'll lead you astray. So now with r equaling 1, 1 times pi is the area. So the circle here is going to have to be a diameter of 2. So what that tells you now is the circumference now becomes 2 pi. And what that is going to equal is 2 pi, 2 times 3.14 is going to be 6.28. So this is just messing around with pi. Area is the second dimension. Third dimension is going to be volume. Third dimension. Volume. Now the volume, if you have something, is going to be in millimeters cubed. Now what they'll do is they'll call that a cc. It's really, dis oh, it's hard to explain, but a cubic centimeter is the same as a millimeter cubed. So for volume, that's your third dimension. Now what they like to use this for is density. And density is the mass over volume. Mass over volume. So this really comes in handy when you're looking at units now, okay? So say the density of something is, what's mass going to be? Mass is going to be grams. Volume, they'll actually call it a milliliter. Okay? So density of something, say you're given th three, three grams of something. What's well going to be given in three grams per milliliter? So if that's the density, they would actually give you a better 
more significant digits. 3.2 grams per milliliter is the density. So let's say you had the mass of six grams of that stuff. And you want to know, the only thing that you would want to know is the volume. So what you'll be able to do is use algebra here. We know that D equals M over V. So what we want to do is rearrange the symbols before we put the numbers in there. So we want to know what the volume is. Multiply both sides by the volume. Over one, they would call it. So now you've got the volume canceled. You end up with V, D. Oh my gosh. So now what you want to do, you want to isolate the volume. So you divide both sides by the density. What you get is mass over density is the volume. So you're given six grams of something. The volume is going to equal the six grams divided by the density, which we picked as 3.2. Write the units in there. This is how important it is. 3.2 grams over milliliters. So what happens is grams cancel. You got one over one over something. This is where your brackets come in really handy. So that actually becomes inverted to be milliliters. And that's what volume is, is milliliters. So 6 divided by 3.2 would be what the volume of something with a density of 3.2 grams if you had a 6-gram sample. So that's your third dimension, volume. Here's one. One liter equals 1.06 quarts. So, say you get a two liter bottle of soda, right? Two liters is going to equal two times 1.06 quarts. Two point one two quarts is what your two liter soda is. So four liters of soda would equal four point two four quarts, which is one and almost a quarter of a gallon. So the question would be what's bigger? A gallon or four liters? Well, four liters equals one and a quarter gallons. So you picture four liter bottles here. You picked one, two, you got a gallon container, it would spill over by a quarter of a gallon. What's a quarter of a gallon? Something you got to do a conversion for. We want to find what a quarter of a gallon is. Call that 0 0.25 of a gallon. Set up our parentheses here. Put gallons on bottom. And we look on our table here to find a conversion. We see that one gallon One gallon is, uh, let's say, 128 ounces. So we would just multiply 0.25 times 128. 0.25 times 128. It's going to equal 32. It's 32 ounces.